On day one, I spawned into a city as a powerful Godzilla. Whoa! Well, I guess I know what I should do. I decided to start wrecking the place with all of my amazing Godzilla powers. What else does Godzilla do? As Godzilla, I had 50 hearts and the ability to fire a massive laser of radiation from my mouth. With my incredible powers, I melted buildings down left and right. I'm so powerful! Suddenly, something shot a missile at me. I turned around and spotted Mecha Godzilla. Your rampage ends here. Aw, oh, man, I'm just being a kaiju. The two of us had a battle of epic proportions, firing powerful attacks back and forth. The city around us crumbled as we fought with everything we had. I blasted away with my variety of attacks while Mecha Godzilla fired at me with his arsenal of explosives. I tried to use my powerful roar as massive jaws to dwindle down the robot's health, but his armor protected him from my attacks. I switched to firing laser attacks in hopes of causing more damage to Mecha Godzilla. However, for every attack I landed, he would hit me 10 times harder. Despite my efforts, Mecha Godzilla was too powerful. He took the chance to fire a strange purple beam at me, but Instead of dying, I shrank down. I now only had 10 hearts and my scales were purple. What did you do to me? I have placed a curse on you to conceal your powers, and I will continue to spread this curse on everything that threatens humanity. In this state, I was powerless, so I ran away before Mechagodzilla could kill me. On day two, I managed to escape Mechagodzilla and found myself in a strange biome. What's going on here? Suddenly, I was ambushed by a horde of cursed creepers. Did these guys get affected by the curse too? I tried to use my radiation beam on the enemies, but nothing happened. The curse took away my old powers. I began to fend them off with my fists instead, but the overwhelming amount of enemies was too much for me in this state. I was going to lose. Just as I thought I was finished, I suddenly used a new cursed power, shooting cursed matter out of my mouth. Whoa, I couldn't do that before. I used my new cursed power to blast everyone around me, thinning out the horde and slowly wearing them all down. I kept using the power over and over again until there were only a few cursed creepers remaining. After a lot of fighting, I managed to take down the horde of mobs. Looks like I have cursed powers now. I wonder what else I could learn. Oh no, we didn't account for the radiation he has. The curse is only making him stronger. I turned around and realized the army was waiting with their weapons ready to fire. You're going down before you get any more powerful. On day three, I was being attacked by the army. I was still weak from my previous battle, but I couldn't give in no matter what. I fought them off the best I could, but in my small size, it was hopeless. Suddenly, I felt the surge of power within me and grew bigger. What the? The army of soldiers showered me with a hail of bullets. I used my cursed matter to light them on fire, but it wasn't doing enough damage. Suddenly, I gained the power to form a black hole. It began lifting the soldiers and tossing them around the landscape. I started dwindling down the numbers one after the other. Whoa, I guess I can learn to control the curse. I wonder just how strong I can become. I was beginning to get the one up on them when a tank appeared out of nowhere. Bring it on! They charged at me with full force. I tried using the black hole again, but couldn't muster enough strength to form it. I had to go back to the basics. I used my cursed matter to mow down the tank's health, and just like that, I destroyed it. My new power was too intense for them to keep up. I made all the humans retreat to safety. Just you wait. We'll curse all of the other kaiju. Without the radiation you possess, they'll be overtaken in a blind rage. Oh no! I have to warn the others before Mechagodzilla infects them too! On days 4 through 8, I explored the overworld for monsters that needed help. On the way, I decided to gather some materials. I punched down some trees, made a crafting bench, then crafted a wooden pickaxe. Afterwards, I mined some cobblestone and upgraded to stone tools. These will be useful, at least while I'm still small. Suddenly, I spotted King Kong picking on a herd of innocent sheep. That's not like him at all. He must be cursed. I quickly ran out and confronted the oversized ape. Hey Kong, remember me? It's Max. Puny lizard enrages King Kong. The monkey suddenly attacked me, pounding me with his axe to deal loads of damage. I used my cursed matter to push him back and gain some distance in between us. Luckily, he was slow, so I was able to regain some of my health. He rushed in and slammed his axe against the ground, causing me to launch up into the air. I tried to fight back, but he was too powerful. I ran away while I still had a chance. Looks like it's time for plan B. I took out my new stone shovel and got to digging a massive hole, big enough to capture King Kong inside. Once I was finished, I baited the trap with a sheep and waited for King Kong to notice. Luckily, he took the bait and charged full speed towards the sheep, causing him to fall into the pit below. Got him! I looked into the pit below and saw that he was unconscious. Sorry, buddy. I'll let you out once I find a cure. 
On days 9 through 12, I took my moment of peace to make a safe hideout for myself. I started by gathering more materials so that I had plenty to work with for my build. Next, I slashed down some animals for their meat and cooked them up in a furnace. I may be a kaiju, but I can appreciate a well-cooked meal. I then got to work on my base. I used the materials I had gathered to build a simple structure. I made sure it was bigger than I needed so it could accommodate my size as I continued to grow in the future. It's not much, but it's a start. Once I was done with my base, I reinforced King Kong's prison in case he tried to escape later. Just as I was about to finish, the ape woke up. King Kong angry! King Kong destroy! The curse is affecting him differently than me. It's like it's consuming him. I have to cure him before he hurts himself. On days 13 through 15, I went out to find a way to remove my curse. During my travels, I spotted another corrupted biome. Maybe a clue lies there. I roamed the area and searched for anything that could help my situation. Eventually, I came across a strange laboratory in ruins. Huh, I wonder what happened here? I investigated the area around the laboratory further to find that it was infested with cursed spiders. Oh no! Even the normal entities are being affected! The cursed spiders began nibbling at my feet so I had no choice but to fight back. My immense size made this battle an easy one, but their spider bites did some considerable damage to me. I used my black hole power to keep them away from me and slowly picked them off one by one. The horde of spiders began to dwindle and I finally destroyed the last one. After the battle was finished, I searched through the rubble and discovered a mysterious book. The cursed crystal will absorb the curse from its victims if tended before their time is up. Otherwise, the victim will die from the curse's effects. That means we're on a timer! I gotta get this crystal fast! Suddenly, I began to hear loud footsteps approaching my direction. Uh-oh. Someone's coming! The footsteps continued until Mechagodzilla appeared. I quickly ran from the area knowing I wasn't ready to fight him. On days 16 through 19, I was being chased by Mechagodzilla. He fired attacks at me as I ran for my life. As I tried to escape, I spotted the ocean and decided to jump in to throw the robot off of my tail. To my surprise, I was able to breathe underwater. I guess as Godzilla, I have water breathing too. I waited in hiding as Mechagodzilla walked by. You cannot hide forever. I'll destroy all of you worthless creatures. The mech left, but I didn't know where he went, so I decided to explore the ocean. Ooh, that was close. I took the chance to look around and spotted a strange entrance under the water. What's that? I went ahead and swam through the gap to discover an underwater temple. Whoa, what sort of secrets do you hold? I explored the different nooks and crannies of the temple until finally arriving inside of a treasure room. At its center was a mysterious artifact. That must be the cursed crystal. I grabbed it for safekeeping when suddenly a cursed ender guardian attacked me. He was super tough and shot at me with his cursed bubble beam. It was hard to evade his attacks in the water, so I had to be careful. I fought back with my cursed matter and started to wear him down from afar. Whenever I got the chance, I came with my bite attack and took chunks out of his health bit by bit. I even tried using my black hole power in the water, creating a crazy swirling whirlpool. With one final blow, I put the cursed fish in his place. Perfect! I'll use this crystal to get rid of my curse too. I tried to use the artifact, but nothing happened. Wait a second! I think they did mention that my radiation protected me. Maybe that's why I can control the curse. This artifact might not work on me, but will definitely help the other kaijus. On days 20 through 23, I returned to my base and discovered that King Kong was missing. Oh no! He escaped! I searched around and quickly found him wreaking havoc on a nearby city. <laughs> Kong, you need to stop! The curse is taking control of you! King Kong kill Lizard Tempter! Stop! I want to help! Kong refused to listen to my pleas and charged at me and began to attack. I tried to use the power of the cursed crystal, but I wasn't able to while King Kong was enraged. I had to get a hold of him first. The two of us fought with everything we had. This time, King Kong was stronger than before as the curse had progressed even further. He attacked me with his powerful axe, dealing loads of damage to me and the surrounding area. I did my best to evade him and shot at him with my curse matter attack. Whenever he got too close, I would bite down onto him with my massive jaws. But even with my strength, he was still overpowering me. Come on! I need to get stronger! Suddenly, I managed to gain even more control over the curse and grew larger. With my new size, I now had 20 hearts and acquired the ability of Daybreak to help me fight. I began to blast down King Kong with my new curse power, sending slow and powerful projectiles in his direction. Thanks to my new curse power, I took King Kong down. Since Kong was weakened, it gave me the opportunity to use the artifact on him. When activated, he became no longer enraged and returned to normal. <sighs> that was rough. Sorry for attacking you. I'm not sure what came over me. 
It's alright. The curse must have been affecting your body differently. Since you're back to normal, would you want to form a team? I need to find more kaiju to make sure this curse doesn't hurt anyone else. I'm in. On days 24 through 27, I returned home and started expanding my base. I began making a room for King Kong, making sure to account for his large size. What do you think? Haha, <laughs> kinda reminds me of the cage you kept me in. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. After that, I headed underground to go mining. While I was down there, I had an idea. I began tearing through the rock with my razor sharp teeth. I was able to quickly clear a path, and in the process, found iron. Now that's a lot more efficient than a pickaxe. After mining, I went back to my base, making a sheet pan for an unlimited supply of food. With that, my expansion was complete. After expanding the base, Kong and I chatted about the effects of the curse and how we should stop it. That curse, it changed me, man. I lost all control of myself. It could feel my body giving out on me. That's why it's so important I find the other kaiju. I have to free them from it before someone gets killed. Well, I'd say your best bet is checking out Skull Island. There you can find Mothra. She might be of some help. Kong then tossed me a map. Thanks, man. I'll check it out. On days 28 through 30, I made my way towards Skull Island. On the way, I found King Ghidorah burning down a forest. Ugh, why did it have to be those guys? Whatever, I need to warn Kevin about the curse. I walked over to the three and tried to greet them to the best of my abilities. Hi, Kevin. Ichi. Ni. Ichi and Ni didn't seem to be all that amused to see me, but at least Kevin was. Oh, Kevin. Hey, Godzilla. How are you? Not too great, actually. <laughs> I'll say, where's your mommy, baby Simba? <laughs> oh, good one, me. Yeah, yeah, very funny. Actually, that's why I'm here. I came to warn you guys that Mechagodzilla is spreading a curse to all kaiju, which means you three as well. <gasps> oh, no! No tiny curse is going to affect us. Maybe it would for a weakling like you. I swear, Kevin is the only good head on your shoulders. Oh, thank you! Angered by the two buffoons, I stormed off to find more kaijus who were affected by the curse. I'll show them who's boss. I just need to become strong again. Bye, Bessie! On days 31 through 34, I had finally arrived at Skull Island. I immediately spotted a small group of skeleton turtles roaming around on the beach. Oh, creepy, but somehow cute. A frightened villager had noticed my arrival and began to flee into the jungle. Run! It's Godzilla! I followed behind them to see if I could find any leads on what Kong had me searching for. Suddenly, I heard a voice off in the distance. It was Mecha Godzilla talking to someone. I will destroy all of the kaijus, and you're next on the list. Why are, Why are you, you doing, doing this? You and all the others pose too much of a threat and must be deleted from this world. Getting a better view of the conversation, I realized he was talking to Mothra. I need to get in there and help her. I ran in between them and began attacking Mechagodzilla. Using my cursed matter to push him back, we prepared for battle. Let's take him on, together. Okay. The two of us combined our strength and began to take on Mechagodzilla in battle. The giant robot was a force to be reckoned with. He had powerful missiles that dug into Mothra and I for massive damage. The two of us fought with everything we had, but his armor seemed impenetrable. Even so, we kept fighting. Gradually, the giant mecha lizard seemed to be weakening in strength. With Mothra fighting alongside me, we are beginning to pull ahead. Don't let up! We almost got him! I could tell we were close to beating him, but before we could stop him, he deployed the curse onto Mothra. <sighs> I won't let you interfere with my plans any further. No! <laughs> <laughs> Good luck dealing with this new and improved version of the curse. Mecha Godzilla fled from the area, leaving me to deal with her. Uh oh. I turned back to see her facing away from me and making odd noises. <sighs> hey, you okay there, bud? I tried my best to get her attention, but before I could walk over to her, she transformed into an even larger kaiju. Boom. <laughs> she turned around and lunged straight at me. On days 35 through 38, I was locked in battle with Mothra. She had a crazy new curse power that was able to fire powerful projectiles. I didn't want to hurt my friend, but I couldn't let her overpower me either. I fought back with my cursed matter attack as well as my daybreaker attack. Mothra tried to fly in close to deal some damage, but I would counterattack with my powerful jaws. Every chance I had, I tried to snap her out of her blind rage. Mothra, listen to me! You can overcome the curse! Just breathe! Eventually, I was able to talk her down and 
and she regained control. Mom, I'm sorry. I, I don't know what came over me. I'm just happy you're with me now. Seems like you're able to resist the curse like me, because you're radioactive. Let me try to remove it with my crystal. I tried using my crystal on her, but nothing happened. Huh, I guess the radiation prevents me from removing your curse, too. Oh, that's okay. I'll just... I'll just... Suddenly, she started losing control again. Eventually, I was able to talk her back down, and we continued talking. Seems like you don't have full control over the curse. I'm sorry, I'm just not as strong as you. Don't worry, I'll take care of you when you lose control. Uh, thank, thank you so, so much. much. So, so what, what brings you to Skull Island? Island? I'm looking for Kaiju to help free them from the curse, and Kong sent me here to find help. I'm guessing he meant you? I'd be happy to. Mothra started leading me somewhere when we came across some more skeleton turtles. Uh, excuse me? You guys aren't cursed turtles, are you? No, we're just like this. Oh, okay. Carry on. Huh, nice guy. On days 39 through 42, I explored Skull Island with Mothra. She was surprisingly knowledgeable about the area. First, she took me to a spot with a giant skull. This is a spot where Kong and I usually hang out. Spooky, but oddly cozy. Mothra went inside one of the eye sockets, then turned around to face me. Surprise! She tossed over some homemade cookies. Whoa, thanks. The two of us munched on the snacks and continued with our tour. Next, we arrived at a human-run radio tower. These guys are always on the lookout for Kaiju. How do they do that? They have a computer that's able to locate them. Kaiju locating gear could be useful for our cause. I walked over to the tower in hopes of getting some use out of their tech, but I was stopped by a group of soldiers. Let me through! No way! We're gonna kill all of you, Kaiju! Before I could respond, the army began to fire at me full force. I had no choice but to fight back. I fired at the army with my powerful cursed abilities. Each hit dwindled them down, but their sheer numbers were still enough to make the fight difficult. Luckily, Mothra flew in to help me take on the army, using her own cursed abilities to melt through their numbers. After a long battle, I managed to blow away all of the soldiers, leaving only one remaining. I surrender! Then tell me where the next kaiju is. The soldier dropped a map titled Kamakuras and ran away as fast as he could. <sighs> I didn't want to hurt them, but I didn't have a choice. Uh, maybe one day the humans will come to their senses. With our new lead, Mothra and I headed back to the base to prepare for the journey ahead. On days 43 through 45, I returned home with Mothra to find what looked like a giant rose flower fighting King Kong. I quickly rushed in and started fighting the thing. With our powers combined, we were able to take the thing down, but then it just grew back bigger. Mothra jumped into the fight and started using her powers on it too. The two of us shot down at the massive flower with our ranged attacks, while King Kong went in close with his axe to deal massive amounts of damage. But even with the brute strength of three kaiju, the horrifying monster was able to hang on. It had vicious attacks that dealt great amounts of damage. They would even occasionally set my friends on fire. But despite everything, we continued to push through, no matter how difficult the battle would become. Gradually, we tore through the flowers of men's armor and dealt more and more damage to it. Finally, with all of our powers combined, we were able to take the thing down once and for all. What the heck was that thing? Suddenly, I started absorbing the thing's cursed energy, and I could feel myself growing stronger. I gained 10 hearts and grew a little bit bigger. Whoa, sweet! Then I noticed that even though Mothra was cursed, she didn't get anything from it. Hey, that's not fair. Oh, it's okay. Maybe next time. Man, you're really getting the short end of the stick here, huh? Eh, I'm just happy I'm not totally insane. Yeah, good point. I turned to Kong, who was staring where the mutated rose used to be. Even the plants are getting mutated now? What's next? I know. This is getting way out of hand. We have to stop Mecha Godzilla. Yeah, as quickly as possible. What are we gonna do? I have a plan. We just need to keep finding cursed kaiju and curing them, and then recruit them to our team. Eventually, we'll be powerful enough to take him down. Sounds good to me. Where do we start? I have a map that will lead me to Kamakuras, the giant praying mantis. On days 46 through 49, I was following the map when I suddenly spotted a group of strange looking skeletons. What's that? I took a closer look and realized they were cursed humans. There, a normal human was running for their life. Help! Someone help me! Don't worry, I'll help. I ran in to protect the person in trouble and the horde of cursed humans turned to attack me. The army showered me in arrows. Thanks to their cursed power, they were surprisingly scrappy, but I shot down the skeletons with my daybreaker and cursed matter to retaliate. Once they were weakened enough by my ranged attacks, I leaned in close with my biting attack to rack up some extra damage. Finally, I used my black hole to lift the weakened skeletons into the air and finish them off once they hit the ground. I'm sorry! 
I killed the remainder of the skeletons, leaving only me and the normal human. I'm sorry about your friends. What's going on here? Mechagodzilla deemed humanity a threat to themselves. Now he's going on a rampage and crushing everyone in sight. Mechagodzilla has gone rogue? Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry for the pain my people have caused you. Now our own creation is turning on us. Suddenly the human began to act strange. Oh no, the curse. It's too late for me. The human transformed into a cursed skeleton before my very eyes. I tried to use the crystal, but it wouldn't work. I'm sorry, buddy. I couldn't let the curse continue to spread, so I took the skeleton down. This has gone too far. I had to take down Mechagodzilla before he curses the entire world. On days 50 through 52, I continued following the map to find the next kaiju. Looks like I'm almost there. I had arrived at the location marked on the map to see that the area had already been corrupted by the curse. Oh no, I better warn Kamakura's quick. Moving forward, I had finally found him looking confused in a clearing. Ah, my home, it's transforming into something strange. That's what I came to warn you about. Suddenly, the ground started shaking and Mechagodzilla appeared. Ah, another life form remains uncursed. Before I could react, he cursed Kamakura's and left me to deal with the aftermath. I looked towards the praying mantis nervously. Kamakura's? The corrupted bug charged at me, and I was forced to fight him off. Due to the curse, Kamakuras was now able to perform a powerful roaring attack. He shot shockwaves at me that tore through my scales and dealt massive damage. I continued to fight through it regardless, using my biting attack at the mantis whenever I got the chance. Unfortunately, his roar was so strong that it would send me flying. I switched to ranged attacks instead and shot him down with my cursed matter and daybreaker. I will destroy you, you overgrown crocodile. I'm trying to help. The longer the battle raged on, the closer I was brought to the brink of death. I wasn't sure how much longer I could hang on. Does my journey end here? Just as I thought I was about to lose, I felt a strange feeling inside of me. I gained more control of my cursed powers, causing me to grow in size, gain 10 hearts, and a new roar ability. Whoa. Let's see what this does. I unleashed my powers full force onto Kamakuras. I now was able to send a powerful roaring attack back in his direction. The two of us battled neck and neck, trying to outroar the other one. Luckily for me, my new control over the curse gave me the boost I needed. After a long battle, I managed to finally weaken the praying mantis enough to use my curse crystal. The curse crystal absorbed all of his curse energy, causing him to return to normal. Ugh, oh, my head. What happened? Mechagodzilla cursed you. He's trying to curse the entire world. My home was destroyed because of him. Let me join your cause. The more the merrier. I handed him a map to the base, but Kamakura's had something else to say. Before I go, I have something to tell you. When I was cursed, I had a vision. I saw massive amounts of water and a gigantic aquatic beast. Awaiting on the other side was Mechagodzilla, destroying everything around him. I believe that on the other side of the ocean, Mechagodzilla is scheming something big. Then there's no time to waste! On days 57 through 59, I dove into the ocean and started my long swim towards Kamakuras' lead. The journey was long, and after a lot of traveling, I was beginning to get tired. Just then, I spotted an island in the distance. Whew, maybe I can stop and rest there for a bit. I arrived onto the shore and realized the place was crawling with weird-looking monsters. What is this place? Hi, I'm Little Godzilla. Welcome to the island of Misfit Kaiju. Are you bootleg purple Godzilla? <laughs> Excuse you? I'm cursed. Don't see your differences as a curse. See them as a gift. Come with me. I followed the Little Godzilla around the island for the tour he prepared. Over here is King Gadurp. Hi, Godzilla. How are you doing today, buddy? You're looking great, pal. Wow, you're much nicer than my King Ghidorah. A little stiffer, though. We continued on with our tour, taking me to a strange green kaiju. This is Frank. What's wrong with him? Nothing, he's just like that. Little Godzilla finally took me to our last stop where two strange kaiju were yelling at each other. I hate you. Beep, boop, beep, you smell. What's going on? Oh, that's just Godzilla and Mecha Godzilla. They're always fighting. Wow, that's a coincidence. Anyways, this was great and all, but I think there was a big misunderstanding. I gotta go. You wanna leave? Nobody leaves this island. I looked around and all of the kaiju were staring at me. Join us. Join us. Join us. Join us. Ah! 
Without a moment to waste, I jumped into the water and swam away. On days 60 through 63, I was continuing my travels towards Mechagodzilla when suddenly I heard someone calling for help. Help! Help! What's that? I swam towards the source to find that a villager's boat was being attacked by the whale god. The whale god must be cursed! I have to help him! I swam in as fast as I could to intervene. We were fighting in the whale god's domain, but luckily I was an amazing swimmer too. The whale god was able to perform a sonic boom attack under the water. He shot massive sonic waves at me, which dealt massive damage, but I wasn't about to give up that easily. I used my new roar attack to deal tons of damage and my curse matter to hit him from afar. Whenever he got too close, I bit him with my powerful jaws. After a difficult fight, I managed to weaken the whale god enough to use my cursed crystal. Unfortunately, nothing seemed to happen. What are you doing with that thing? Aren't you cursed? No, that boat just doesn't belong here in my ocean. Wow, rude. I shot one of my cursed attacks at him to scare him off, leaving me and the villager alone. Thank you for all of your help. Take this. The villager gave me a ton of steak. I'm going to tell all the other villagers how cool you are. Oh shucks. Thanks. With the conflict resolved, I continued on my way. On days 64 through 67, I arrived on the other side of the ocean to find a massive factory. What's going on here? I investigated the area to find several rows of mini Mechagodzillas being built. This is insane! He's making his own army? I continued to explore around the factory and found Mechagodzilla in the distance. I hunkered down in a nice hiding spot to listen in on any vital details. Soon enough, my army will grow large enough to spread the curse across the entire world. Is he monologuing to himself? Nobody will be able to survive. Not even that pesky Godzilla. Let phase three commence. What's phase three? Suddenly, he transformed into an upgraded Mecha Godzilla. What the? With this new form, no one can stop me. <laughs> this is not good. I gotta tell the others. Just as I was about to leave, Mecha Godzilla spotted me. Eliminate! The massive robot charged me with a brand new ability. Not only could he fire powerful lasers and missiles like before, but he could also now strike me with lightning. I did my best to evade him, since every hit would deal massive damage to me. Even though he was powerful, I knew this was my time to show Mecha Godzilla just how strong I had become too. I fired my cursed matter attack at him as well as my daybreaker to try and pierce through his new armor. I knew if I got too close, he would kill me quickly, so I kept the battle at a distance. Despite how much I had grown, I was still no match for the newly upgraded Mecha Godzilla. I fled with my tail between my legs before he could take my life. On days 68 through 70, I returned home feeling defeated. What's wrong? Everything. Mecha Godzilla is only getting stronger and stronger, and it feels like I can't keep up. At this rate, he's gonna curse the entire world. You're getting stronger too, and you have something he doesn't. What's that? Us. You know what? You're right. Thanks, Kong. I was feeling motivated after King Kong's words, so I decided to give our little base a facelift. I started by finally making Kamakuras a proper room to call his own. This looks wonderful. Thank you. Just then, the villager I had saved from the boat came up to me. Oh, hello again. How can I help you? My friends and family have nowhere to go. The cursed biome is spreading too quickly. Say no more. I got to work on a safe haven for the villagers to stay in, making sure they had everything they needed to be safe. You promise you won't step on us? Uh, not on purpose. <laughs> Thank you for everything. Actually, I think I heard of another kaiju just north of here. Maybe they can help you on your journey. I do need to get stronger. I'll go pay them a visit. On days 71 through 74, I traveled towards the kaiju I was informed of to find a strange area covered in webs. I wonder what lives here. I tried to stop my way through the webs, assuming that my size would make them ineffective on me. To my surprise, the webs were strong enough to stop me in my tracks. What the? How could these webs stop me? Just then, a giant spider emerged. It was none other than the Kaiju Kumanga. Well, well, well. Looks like I'm having lizard for dinner. No, wait. I think you're the kaiju I was looking for. I explained to Kumanga my quest to stop Mechagodzilla before he could curse the world and how I needed their help. Hmm. Well, I guess the curse has been a real pain in my side. I'll help you, but for a price. What do I have to do? I need you to defeat Cursed King Ghidorah. What? They managed to get cursed? That pesky kaiju has been burning down my forests. Now that they're cursed, it's even worse. Either remove the curse or kill them. Oh no. 
On days 75 through 77, I arrived at the spot where Kamanga told me to go to find Cursed King Ghidorah destroying everything around them. Oh no! The curse really got to them! I have to save them! For Kevin! I ran in and grabbed their attention. Hey you! Your rampage ends now! Without hesitation, the three-headed kaiju attacked me. I quickly began firing my cursed matter to push them away, but it wasn't enough to phase them. They began launching devastating fireballs in my direction, causing major destruction to the surrounding area. Using my roar ability, I was able to lightly damage them. They lit the floor ablaze, making it hard to maneuver around their fury of attacks. I took one wrong step and immediately caught on fire. I could feel my health dwindling by the second. I fought with all of my might, but they were nearly as powerful as Mechagodzilla himself. Even so, I wasn't about to give up. Come on, Curse! I need more power! Suddenly, I grew in size and gained 10 hearts as well as a new cursed ability. I began attacking and realized I was shooting down beams of lightning from the clouds. King Ghidorah tried to evade my attacks, but the lightning strikes were just too fast for him. He continued to blast fireballs in my direction, occasionally hitting me, but he was clearly no match for my new strength. After a fierce battle, I struck him with one final strike and managed to win. I took out my cursed crystal and freed King Ghidorah from his curse. What the? Max, are you okay? I'm great now that you snapped out of it. Ugh, how embarrassing. Of all the people, why did we have to get saved by you? Thanks, Nasty! Also, if you don't mind not burning down the forest anymore, that'd be great. Ugh, fine. Whatever. Okay! With that, I headed back to report to Kumanga. Time to get even stronger! On days 78 through 81, I returned to Kumanga and reported my successful mission. That's great news! Now it's time that I held up my end of our agreement. The kaiju handed me a strange object. What's this? This is an ancient artifact that holds a lot of potential. The only problem is nobody has been able to activate its power. I suspect that you could fuel it with your cursed energy. Would this really be enough to take down Mechagodzilla? I'm sure of it. But you need to unlock its power first. Take this map. It will lead you to another kaiju. They are evil and will be the perfect test subject. Thank you so much for your help. Without a moment to waste, I set off in the direction of the map. On the way, I spotted a massive Godzilla statue. I'm gonna be that big soon enough. Suddenly, some random members of a Godzilla fan club ran up to me. Oh my god, are you really THE Godzilla? The one and only. You're so cool! <laughs> oh, yeah! Oh, please, take this! The fans handed me tons of food as a gift. This is great! Thank you! I followed the map to discover a kaiju eating a bunch of helpless villagers. It was Komodo Drax, and he was fully rabid. This guy is too far gone! He's gotta go down! I rushed into battle to fight the rabid kaiju and save the humans. Komodo tracks had massive jaws that were able to bite through my powerful scales. I had to be careful not to get in too close, otherwise he would be able to deal loads of damage. To keep him at bay, I shot him down with my lightning beam as well as my powerful roars. When he got too close, I would bite him back and regain distance to shoot him down with my curse matter and daybreaker. Even though I was fighting smart, Komodo Tracks was too powerful. I thought I was about to lose, when suddenly the artifact I had received activated spontaneously. The power is surging through me! The cursed entity gave me an extra 10 hearts and the ability to shoot cursed lasers. <laughs> nice! Let's finish this! With my new power, I took down the monster with ease. I looked to the ground to see a little villager cheering me on. Thank you, little one. It's nothing, really. Mr. Godzilla, sir, are you gonna destroy all the monsters? Well, we're not all monsters. Most of us want to live in peace like you guys. Then why did that one that you just killed want to eat us? He just got a little too sick is all. I wanted to help him, but I couldn't save him in time. I believe in you, Mr. Godzilla. Thanks, kid. I then left the area feeling a lot more confident for when I had to face Mechagodzilla. On days 86 through 89, I arrived at the base to find Mothra in a really excited mood. Hey, what's all the hubbub? I had a baby! A baby? Just then, a giant larva baby revealed itself. Holy cow! It's huge! Isn't she cute? Uh, I guess. I said, isn't she cute? 
Uh, oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> She's so adorable and squishy looking. That's right. Oh, I would I just, just die if anything, anything happened to her. Suddenly, the baby started crying. Oh, no. What's wrong with it? Oh, she's, she's hungry. hungry. Would, Would you be a doll and fetch me some supplies? I have my hands full here, so I need you to do it. Okay, what do you need? Mothra then dropped me a long list of stuff that she needed for her new baby. You need all of this? <laughs> Hurry up! Okay! I quickly rushed out to look for the supplies she needed. I traveled far and wide to grab all of the necessary supplies for Mothra's baby. The list was very extensive, but after a lot of hunting, I managed to gather everything that was needed. Once the shopping list was completed, I returned to Mothra and her baby at the base. You got the things I asked for? Sure did. I dropped everything she requested and the baby got really excited. <laughs> Daddy? Huh? Oh no. Daddy! Sorry, gotta go! I left Mothra to tend to her child and focused on finding Mechagodzilla. On days 90 through 92, I began my recon of Mechagodzilla and his factory. When I arrived, I discovered his goons working on a strange cursed device. What's that? Just then, a human soldier walked up to me. That's Mechagodzilla's cursed device. I've been scouting out here too to learn more about it. What does it do? It's a device capable of spreading the curse over a wide radius. If it's completed, Mechagodzilla will curse the entire world. We have to stop him. That's the spirit, soldier. Take this. The soldier handed me a new set of mecha armor. Whoa. Thank you. Now, onward. No, wait. Before he could be stopped, he was instantly killed by one of the mecha goons. Yikes. I better come back with a plan first. Otherwise, I'll be toast. On days 93 through 95, I discovered an abandoned tank on the way back to my base. Huh, this gives me an idea. I stepped onto the tank and began to skate around for fun. I was surprisingly good at tank skating. I went up and down hills and even did multiple 360s. Who said a kaiju couldn't have a bit of fun? Just then, a horde of cursed creepers attacked me. I used my new tank skates to speed around my enemies and fought off the horde of cursed creepers. My main attack was my lightning, which I used in quick succession to light multiple of the cursed creepers on fire. Whenever I felt they were getting too close, I skated to a new spot. With my speed, there was no way they could catch me. I continued the barrage of lightning, igniting creeper after creeper. Thanks to my new tank, I managed to defeat every last one of the mobs. That was surprisingly fun. I skated back to the base on my new tank and found King Kong waiting for me. Nice skates, my dude. Thanks. Actually, I have something I need to tell you guys. I got Kong up to speed on the cursed device and how I needed to find a way to stop it. The only way to stop a device like that is to absorb its power. Well, my cursed crystal should do just the trick. Thanks, Kong. I was about to head off towards Mechagodzilla when suddenly Mothra flew up to me in a frenzy. Uh, someone get out of my baby! Oh no! We gotta act fast! On days 96 through 97, I headed in the direction that Mothra told me to and got a whiff of a strange smell. Is that soup? I pushed on a bit further and discovered a giant cursed human cooking up Mothra's baby in a pot. Without a moment to waste, I rushed in. Stop right there! Yeah, he's too far gone. It's fighting time. The cursed human had a powerful blade which he charged me with everything he had. I tried to use my jaws to bite him down up close, but I was taking too much damage. To avoid his attacks, I made some distance between us and began to fire at him with all the different powers I had gained over my journey. Unfortunately for me, his cursed blade also shot strange green projectiles. I had to evade them and shoot at him with everything I had. I used my lightning beam, daybreaker, cursed matter, and even my new cursed lasers. All of my firepower dug into the monster, dealing tons of damage. Even so, the cursed human continued his onslaught. The battle was tough. The curse had mutated him beyond the power of any human I had faced before. He had the strength of a kaiju. For Mothra! Suddenly, I gained even more control of my cursed power. I grew in size, gained 10 hearts, and the ability to shoot wither skulls. To close the gap, I began to fire away with my new power. They did just the trick, and the cursed human began to weaken more and more. Despite my struggles, I managed to overpower the cursed entity. After the fight was over, I rushed to the pot and freed the baby. Daddy! 
I'm not your dad. I returned to the base and reunited Mothra with her child. Oh, thank, thank you so much. much. No problem. On day 98, I decided to do some last minute changes to the base before facing Mechagodzilla. I started by changing some of the blocks around to better reflect my cursed powers. Next, I made a small play area for Mothra's baby. I even made sure to add a chest full of colorful wool so he could build some things for fun. Once I was done, the baby started playing right away. Daddy, look! I made a heart for you. I'm not your dad, but that's adorable. Lastly, I made a little garden for the villager sanctuary so they had plenty of food to eat. Finally, my base was complete. Not too shabby. With that, I gathered everyone around to say some parting words. I'm going to face Mechagodzilla and end this before his curse infects the world. Can we come too? No. Only I have enough radiation to protect me from the curse's effects. It's best you guys stay put where it's safe. We believe in you, Max. I set off for the final battle towards Mechagodzilla's lair. On day 99, I arrived at Mechagodzilla's factory and discovered the device was missing. What the? Am I too late? Intruder! I turned around and found that an army of mecha goons were waiting for me. You're going down, Tinker Toys! They began to rush me all at once. I had grown so powerful that I was able to use my roar and wither skull simultaneously. I lit the mechs ablaze, taking them down one by one. They continued to rush me, but the battle was moving in my favor. I struck them with my lightning, causing the remaining few to short circuit and become nothing but heaps of scrap metal. Despite their numbers, I managed to defeat the entire army of mecha goons. I've really gotten stronger, huh? Upon their death, one of them dropped a note. Mecha Godzilla has already arrived in the city. Soon he will unleash the cursed device's power and curse everything on this planet. Then there's no time to waste. On day 100, I arrived in the city to find Mecha Godzilla toying with his device. Stop right there, you oversized battery! Ah, you've been a real pain in my side. Once I start my device, there will be no stopping me from cursing everyone. Not if I have something to say about it. The two of us charge into battle. I knew that this would be my most difficult battle yet, so I used everything I had obtained up to this point to face Mechagodzilla head on. I fired at him with my vast array of weapons while he fired back at me with his own. It was Kaiju versus Kaiju, and only one was gonna reign supreme. Whenever I was able to get close, I sank my teeth into the mech and tore away at his armor. But he would retaliate with his powerful weapons to blast me away. We were truly neck and neck, and it was hard to see who would prevail. Despite the numerous Kaiju I had fought, he was stronger than anyone I had faced up to this point. I knew my best bet was to use my cursed crystal as soon as I could. Take this! I took out my crystal, but Mechagodzilla knew what I was scheming. He knocked it out of my hand, causing it to shatter. No! You fool! Now nothing will stop my machine! He powered on the device, causing a vortex to appear. No! I have to save everyone! With no other options, I jumped into the vortex to stop it from spreading the curse. Ah! To my surprise, instead of dying, I absorbed its energy. I grew bigger than ever before and gained a ton of strength and hearts. I was now the ultimate cursed Godzilla. Roar! I used my new power to continue the battle with Mechagodzilla until finally taking him down once and for all. I did it! The city is saved!